Welcome. I welcome you all to this lecture in the course Introduction to Paninian Grammar. So far we have studied the features of the meta language of Paninian Grammar which is extremely fundamental and important to understand first of all the text of Panini's grammar namely the Ashtadhyayi and also the system that it operates. So we also studied the technique of Pratyahara and then also the detailed study that we carried out to understand what is an it or what is a marker that is an essential part of the meta language of Paninian grammar. Now we are studying the functions of these markers or it sounds. This is a very excellent use of the metalinguistic device to explain the linguistic usage in the object language. So in this lecture we will study general theme is markers in the meta language of Paninian grammar, it sounds and their functions that is what we shall study now. To recap here are the sutras all the sutras which term it saudhnya which assign the term it to various sounds the first one to vowels and the other ones remaining ones to the consonants 133 and 134 to the final consonants and the remaining to the initial consonants at the beginning of pratyayas the verbal lists and so on excluding some specific kinds of suffixes or pratyayas. Then we looked at and we noted down various functions of these it sounds or markers and out of them we shall study these ones. We have already studied the first two prescription of addition of suffixes and specification of the position of an element that is added. Now we shall study the specification of the position of a substitute, modification in the element to which a suffix is added and negation of certain modifications of an element in this lecture. And we shall keep accent and meaning change etc for the next lecture. So let us begin specification of position of the substitute. We have already seen that substitution is the major device used by Panini in his grammar. This substitution operation functions with reference to environments, left, left hand side environment, right hand side environment and we have seen that these environments are specified by the cases. Panini uses the cases to specify these environments. The fifth case specifies the left hand side environment, the seventh case specifies the right hand side environment and also the meaning. So for example, if we say that x plus y plus z is substituted by x plus a plus z which means a in effect a is replacing y or a is substituting y. This can be described as in the environment of x on the left hand side and z on the right hand side y 
is substituted by A. This is how you can describe the substitution in Paninian grammar. Now given this, if we focus on the size of Y and A, we will note the following facts. For example, if the shape or the size of Y and A is the same, then by default A will substitute Y. But if there is difference of size or shape of Y and A, there is ambiguity about the exact location of the substitution. What will A substitute? So, Paninian grammar removes this ambiguity by stating that in general any substitute replaces the final element of the substituent. I repeat, in general any substitute replaces the final element of the substituent and we shall see what this is. So, this is stated by a sutra 1152 alone tyasya. So, if Y is made up of three sounds A, B and C and if A is made up of let us say one sound P, obviously there is difference of size of Y and A. Now, there is a problem as to where will A replace Y. That means, where will P be placed? What will it substitute? There could be multiple options. Either it substitutes A or B or C or AB or BC or AC or the entire ABC. We do not know what will it substitute. Now, the Paninian grammar specifies that in general this P replaces only the C element that is the final element over here of Y and the output returned is Y is equal to A, B and P, A plus B plus P, P substitutes C. Now, there are two it sounds which further contribute in removing this kind of ambiguity by specifying the position of the substitute. Let us study them one by one. Let us look at the it sound sh. And so, when sh is attached to an element, that element will be called shit, the substitute notably that we are studying here. So, now if the substitute is shit, then what happens? If the substituent consists of more than one sound and the substitute consists of only one sound, what we have seen earlier, but the marker that is it sh is added to it, then this substitute replaces the entire substituent and not the final part of the substituent. So, to put it in the equation form, if Y consists of let us say A plus B plus C and A which is a substitute stated with reference to Y and A consists of P with a marker SH, then this A in the form of P with the marker SH will substitute this entire A plus B plus C. And so, the output return would be just P, Y is P, that would be the output. So, this marker SH triggers this substitution in place of the entire substituent in this specific condition mentioned here in the second bullet. Now, this is stated by the sutra 
Anekalshit Sarvasya 1.1.55, which is an important function assigned to the marker Shir. So, let us take a concrete example over here, which is shown on the right hand side of the slide, this part. So, in the environment which is left hand side environment X and the right hand side environment Z substitute Y by A. So, what it means is X plus Y plus Z is substituted by X plus A plus Z if this is the format of the sutra and if Y is equal to A plus B plus C this can be rewritten as X plus A plus B plus C plus Z then this A can be rewritten as just P following what we saw just now the explanation. So, the example is Idama Ish 5.3.3 what it means is immediately before suffixes stated in 5, 3, 1 to 27 substitute idam by ish. So, note here that idam is a nominal root to which is added her which is part of th this set of suffixes idamo haha that is part of this set. So, her is part of this set this is the right hand side environment. So, the, this condition is fulfilled. Now, this idam is to be replaced by ish. Idam consists of sounds e, d, a uh, and m four sounds and ish consists of only one sound e with a marker sh. But now because of this marker sh this one sound substitute e will substitute the entire substituent which consists of four sounds and so we get the output e plus h and then the word returned is i h means here. So, we noted that in this case the marker sh assigned or attached to e triggers this operation and specifies the position of the substitute. What is that position? in place of the entire substituent. The by default rule would have stated the substitution in place of the final element, but if there is a marker sh attached to the substitute and if substitute consists of only one sound, then this substitute substitutes the entire substituent that is this substituent which consists of four sound. So, E replaces all these four sounds and so we get the form here. Let us look at the other it sound which specifies the position of the substitute. So, an element to which a ng is added as it sound will be called ngit. Now, if the substituent consists of more than one sound as we saw earlier and the substitute also consists of more than one sound and the marker ng in it, then this substitute replaces only the final sound of the substituent and not the entire substituent which is stated by 1155. I repeat, if the substituent consists of more than one sound and the substitute also consists of more than one sound and also the marker it in it and that marker is ng, then this substitute replaces only the final sound of the substituent and not the entire substituent as we saw earlier in the previous example 
where the entire substituent was replaced. So that does not happen in this case. And that is taken care of by the marker ng. So if y consists of a, b, c, a plus b plus c and a is the substitute, y is the substituent and a consists of p plus q that is more than one sounds with the marker ng attached to it, then instead of getting the output in the format of p plus q, now we will get the substitute, now we will get the output returned in this form a plus b plus p plus q. Only c is substituted because there is a marker ng attached to the substitute. So, only final sound c will get substituted. So, for example, if we put this once again in the form of an equation, we see that if the rule says that x plus y plus z is substituted by x plus a plus z and if y is equal to a plus b plus c and a is equal to p plus q then this equation can be rewritten as x plus a plus b plus c plus z gets substituted by x plus a plus b plus p plus q c plus z. So, only c gets substituted by p plus q and not the entire a b c. And let us look at the concrete example from the Ashtadhyayi, the Panini's grammar. The sutra is asti tadhi sakthyakshnam anangudattaha. I'll repeat asti dadhi sakthyakshnam anangudattaha. 7175. Without going into the details of the meaning of the sutra, let me state the meaning to you. It means immediately before the vowel beginning vibhakti that begins with the third vibhakti, substitute anang that is an with the marker ng in place of asthi, dadhi, sakthi and akshi. Now here there is another a over here after na, but this is only for the sake of pronunciation for convenience. The actual substitute stated here is an, a and na, two sounds with the marker ng and a in between for the sake of pronunciation that is not to be counted here. There is no explicit rule stated in the grammar of Panini to this effect, but the later Paninian grammatical tradition does specify this fact. So now, let us look at the examples. Here we are, we have the word dadhi to which the suffix a is added. This is the instrumental singular, the third case singular number. Similarly, akshi plus a, the third case singular, a suffix is added to akshi as well. Dadhi means curds, akshi means an i. So now, here is the environment, a vowel beginning vibhakti, which begins with the third vibhakti immediately before this. So this is the right hand side environment that is fulfilled. Similarly over here, this is the right hand side environment. Now immediately before this, when dadhi comes or akshi comes, then substitute this akshi or this dadhi by an that is what 7175 states. So where would you substitute this an in place of what? So the marker ng specifies the position of the substitute in the substituent. This is the substituent and now marker ng specifies that this unsubstitute comes in place of the final element namely e over here. So now you get dadh an, an comes in place of e, dadh, an plus a. And then this a 
gets deleted by 64134. So you get dadh, na, a, and you join this together and you will get the form dadna, which means with the curds. So in order to derive dadna, we go through this grammatical procedure and here are the rules which bring about these stages. So to derive the word dadna, Paninian grammar substitute this e by an and this is triggered by the marker ng. Let us look at this example akshi plus a. So if you have to say with the i, you will take the nominal root akshi and add the instrumental singular case a which is what we have done in the first step of derivation. Then 7175 says when the right hand side environment is a vowel beginning with bhakti beginning with the third case which is what this is. This is a vowel, vowel beginning vibhakti also and part of the third case that is the instrumental case. So this right hand side environment is fulfilled. Now substitute this akshi by an. Where would you put this substitute? What is the exact location? And that exact location is stated by the marker ng which says that substitute this an in place of final e. So we get aksh, an and a. Then following 64134, this a gets deleted and you have aksh, n, a. Then following 841, this na becomes na and so you get the form akshna. This is how markers sh and ng specify the position of the substitute in the Paninian grammar. Let us now look at the next function of the markers namely modification in the element to which a suffix is added. Here are the four cases that are presented to you. First of all, the it sounds an and y, which are attached to a suffix, they cause the vruddhi substitution that is a, i and au substitution in place of the initial sound of the root to which they are added. This is stated by 72115. Then we come to the sound d which is attached to a suffix, then it causes the deletion of certain portion of the root stated by 64142. Then we will look at the it sound kh attached to a suffix which causes the addition of sound m immediately after the final vowel of the root stated by 6367. Then the it sound gh which is attached to a suffix and it causes the substitution of ch and j by k and g respectively by 7352. Let us study these cases one by one. So first of all let us look at these two examples. One on the left hand side is the example of the use of its sound n and this on the right hand side is the example of <coughs> the use of its sound ear. So we have this derivation process on the left hand side. Let us study it in detail. So if the speaker wants to say a descendant of Shiva, he will take the nominal root Shiva and by 41112 add the suffix unto it, un, which has the marker an. Now this marker, this sound n will be termed as it by 133 and will be deleted by 139. So we get this step of derivation, Shiva plus a. Then because of this n now, this initial e of this nominal root Shiva will get the vruddhi substitution namely i and y i in place of e. This will be clear when we look at the process of 
speech production which will state the affinity between E and I. So, Shaiva plus A, uh, then we apply 64148, Shaiva plus A uh, and then you get the form Shaiva, a descendant of Shiva. So, this vruddhi is caused by this marker Na over here. Similarly, if you have to derive the word Bhava meaning the state, we take the verbal root Bhu and add the suffix ghai to it by 3118. Then of course in this ghai the initial gh is termed it by 138, ya is termed it, it by 133 and then both of them are deleted by 139. So now we get the suffix a over here, bhu plus a. Now because there is this marker nya, this u will get the vriddhi substitution and this will become bhau. So, u becomes au. So, au substitutes u. And why? Once again we shall study this when we study the process of speech production where the phonetic properties of u and au they will be studied and they show close affinity. So, by 7 to 1 month 5 we substitute bhau in place of bhu then by 6178 au gets replaced by av and so you get the form bhava. So here the vruddhi substitution is caused by the marker nya. Let us look at these two examples where the marker d is playing a prominent role. For example, when you have to say 20th, you take the nominal root vimshati and add the suffix dat to it, dat by 5242 and then this dat consists of d as it by 13722 and t as it by 133halantyam, they both get deleted by 139 tasya and so we get a, vimshati plus a. Now 64142 comes in and says that delete this t if this suffix is dit, it is dit. So therefore we delete this t and we get the form vimsh. Similarly, in case of a verbal root, here we have bhavitas and the suffix is da and once again applying 1, 3, 7 and 9, this d will be deleted and so now we have bhavitas plus a. Now this a is dit and because this is dit, this as portion in bhavitas will be deleted and we will get the substitute bhavit and a joined together will get bhavita that is he, she or it will become tomorrow. There is no specific explicit rule which states this operation with respect to verbal roots. But the later Paninian grammatical tradition fills in this gap and has in fact written down a statement to this effect. Now let us take another example which explains modification in the element to which a suffix is added. And this modification is brought about by an it sound which is part of that precise suffix. Here we are dealing with the it sound kh which is added to a suffix and then this kh sound brings about some modification in the word to which it is added. So here we are deriving a compound which is jana me jaya which means one who makes people tremble jana me jaya one who makes people tremble here we have jana plus am plus ag then we add a suffix khash to this verbal root 
Ag in the environment of Jana plus Am. Now in Kash we know that K is it because of the application of 137 Lashakvat Adhite and Sh is it because of Halantyam 133 and so they both get deleted and we have A. Before that this Am gets deleted by 2471 Supodhatu and we get Jana plus Ag plus Kash then the Itsaudnya applies and we have Jana plus Ag plus A. Now 6367 applies at this stage because its conditions are fulfilled and 6367 says that if the suffix has k sound as it or marker then the pada, the purva pada over here which is jana gets ma added to it at the end in this particular position. So we have jana ma and then ag and because this a pratyaya is shit. So we add the shap pratyaya over here. So we have jana ma plus ag plus shap plus a and then we have jana ma plus aj. Aj becomes aj because of this shap by the application of 7384 and so we have jana ma followed by aj plus a plus a. Then this aj becomes aj because of ho yava yavaha 6178 and so we have jana ma aj a a then pararupa sandhi takes place and finally we get the form jana me jaya one who makes people tremble. Now we saw that because of the marker kh ma was added to this purvapada and because this is mum so this ma is added immediately after the final vowel in this word. The final vowel in this word is a after n. So this ma is added over here. This is how the kh sound brings about modification in the element to which a suffix is added. Let us look at the last example in this particular function that is the it sound gh. So here we have the verbal root bhanja meaning to break to which is added the suffix ghurach by 32161 in which gh is termed it by 138 and ch is termed it by 133 and then both of them get deleted by 139. So we get ur. So bhanja plus ur. So here is the substituent j which is then changed to g and because of this g this y is also changed to ng and we get the form bhangura. That is one whose nature it is to break down. So this substitution is caused by the it sound gh. <clears throat> Let us look at the next function of the it sounds negation of modifications of element. So it sounds k, g and ng are used to describe negation of guna substitute in place of ik that is e, u, ru and lu. Similarly same it sounds k, g and ng are used to describe negation of vruddhi substitution in place of ik that is e, u, ru, lu. Let us take one example each. So the it sounds k which prescribes negation of guna a, a, o here is an example. We have the verbal root chi to which is added the suffix kta by a 32102. Now because this suffix is kt that is where k is marked as it by 138 so this gets deleted by 139 
So, we get the suffix t. So, but this is now kit. So, this will negate the guna substitute that is chi becoming j by 115. And so, you will get the form chit, something that is collected. So, guna is prohibited over here, negated. Similarly, if you have chi, nu and tas, this is an example where a ng sound causes the negation of guna. Chi, nu and tas. Now, this nu is considered as ngit, having ng as it. Because of this ngit, chi will not be substituted by che, so guna will be prohibited, negated. And so we will get the form chenutas, chenutaha, which means they too collect. And now let us look at the example where the markers prohibit the vriddhi. And there is one example here. This is the verbal form mrishtaha, they too clean. This begins with mrija followed by the suffix tas. This taks tas is marked with the it sound ng and now this will cause the negation of the vriddhi substitute in place of this r. This vriddhi substitute is stated by in general by 72114. But now, because this is a nit suffix, 115 will negate this vritti. So, it will not become marj, it remains bridge. Then, j is substituted by sh, sh is sh causes t to sub get substituted by t, and so finally, we get the form mrishtaha. Here, there is no vritti that is negated by 115 because the suffix is nit marker has the marker ng into it. To summarize, three more functions of the markers it, it sounds were studied in this lecture. These markers and these functions are specification of the position of a substitute, modification in the element to which a suffix is added, negation of certain modifications of an element. The it sounds are used as metalinguistic devices effectively to describe various linguistic features through grammatical operations. These operations pertain to almost all components of a sentence. Now, as is our practice, let us end this lecture by reciting an important Mangala Charana. And this is taken from a text called Vayakarana Siddhanta Kaumudi and the Mangala Charana is Munitrayam Namaskritya Tadukti Paribhavyacha Vayakarana Siddhanta Kaumudi Yam Virachyate. I repeat Munitrayam Namaskritya Tadukti Paribhavyacha Vayakarana Siddhanta Kaumudi Yam Virachyate. And today's five sutras taken from 3.2 karmanyan bhava mascha ato nupasarge kaha supisthaha tunda shoka yoh parimrajapanu doho i repeat karmanyan bhava mascha ato nupasarge kaha supisthaha tunda shoka yoh parimrajapanu doho now we will take the remaining two functions in the next lecture thank you for your attention